cause I'm doing me Still shine with no jewelry I would rather have the unity It's gonna be you if it's you and me No tears in my mama eyes Got a team full of rotted dies. Hail Mary nigga rock a bar Rock a bar All eyes on me Made it out the hood, I'm so grateful Never know which talent I'm gonna take it Jealous niggas never made a breakthrough That's why they watch it so hateful All eyes on me You say the top is so lonely Did your popularity and status change after that, right? We got booked more in areas that we weren't getting booked. Wow. So, like, we would typically stop around Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That would be, for me, that would be my Mason-Dixon line yeah, that's for the most part. Off, right. And then Chicago, Illinois, Philadelphia. You know, once we got to D.C., it was game over. Because D.C. niggas is South niggas. They just moved. <laughs> or, they haven't, or, they haven't, or, or they haven't come back home yet. Right. But they carry no cultural identity to anything else on the East Coast. Right. Like musically. You know what I'm saying? They there's not a lot of Timberlands in DC. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In that sense. You get you get what I'm saying. Right. What was but, your energy like with the video shoot? Video shoot was different because we never got the video shoot was meant to be shot in Trinidad Tobago during Carnival. Yeah. And it was, but Pimp never got on the plane. Mm. Shout out, to, shout out to all the Trinis. He he didn't get on the plane. Well, one he was he was he was scared to fly. Flying internationally was a, a big problem for him. But he also had another situation at the time in Miami. He was preoccupied with some friends <laughs> in Miami. Friends of that were actually expected to be at the video as well. Um, so it's like, well, where's Pimp C and where's Gloria Velez? Yeah, where are these people at? You know, they they right. don't know where Pimp is and they don't know where she is and they don't know that they're together. Yeah, right. So they never got on the plane. So the majority of Big Pimpin is in Trinidad and Tobago. It doesn't yeah. come to Miami, literally in the video until so, Pimp gets incorporated into the video. Right. That's all a, um, pickup shots that we had to do, mm -hmm. and so. And then here's the other thing, right? So I'm a very lo-fi guy, right? I, I wore a bunch of jewelry for a very minimum time. I was a solo artist. I needed to be looking a certain way. So I've never really been that kind of dude. You know what I'm saying? I didn't show up with a bunch of designer shit. I'm like, where's the free rock wear shit? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing that shit. <laughs> Give me the free shit. They're like, you passed on it before, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and Pimp shows up in a new convertible 600. Right, that nobody has yet. He's one of the first people to have it. He pulls up with Gloria, you know, and they're looking at him, and they're looking at me, and they're looking at him. <laughs> and Piff's like, Bumby don't spend his money on this dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, because the whole time, they, I'm, I'm assuming they think I'm, I'm, I'm broke. Hmm. Right? I'm assuming they're thinking I'm, you know, I'm, I'm whatever it is. And then they right. see Pimp pull up, like, Pimp got cars and he pulling the mink coat out the back and he hopping out with her and they're like, like, where's your shit? Like, where's your shit? <laughs> where's your shit if you niggas got money? And he Pimp, and Pimp could see it in their face. Hey, that nigga don't do that shit with his money. He don't fuck off like that. Yeah. That's my thing. Right. And then they came out the, they came out the dressing room in the mink coats on the beach in the car and Hove was like, your brother's a star. And every time he'd ever see Pimp, we were ever together, and he would see Pimp, Pimp was doing something so crazy and so audacious, and, and everybody was loving it, and Ho would just be like, this nigga's a star. Like, this nigga's really, really a star. Right. It, was, it was evident. You couldn't dim it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You couldn't dim it. They, you know, he's not even here anymore. And I would argue Pimp C's presence and his memory and his impact resonates deeper today than it ever has. There's very few artists right now that want to look a certain way that can do that without incorporating something that Pimp C did before. Mm. Like, it's ironic it just, that that song ended up, as much as he <clears throat> kind of pushed against it, the video and the song ended up being like an anthem for him worldwide because it's saying his name in the hook. Like It's like the international pimp and the anthem. But crazy. you know, UGK was Pimp's baby and he had put his heart <coughs> and soul into it and he didn't want to do all of that to get to this point and do one song with somebody and have his legacy perverted that was the way mm, he looked at it mm. you know i would rather not do this record if doing this record means that i have to compromise some part of myself to fuck with people that like this record 
you know what I'm saying? Like in order to increase my fan base, do I have to make more shit like this? Because I don't make shit like, like this. this. Right. And I don't want to make shit like this. Mm -hmm. Funny story, man. When we got ready to do the next album, the label, Jive, was like, let's do a Big Pimpin' too. Right? Let's buy a Jay Z. Right? Let's buy a Jay Z <laughs> verse. Let's buy a, a beat from Timberland. Let's get a video from Hype and let's let's do it again, boys. You know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I don't do a song with Jay Z and Timberland, do I still get a Hype Williams video? <laughs> it was like, well, why? And it was never no. It was like, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want to do another big mm -hmm. record? What, besides being two and a half million in the hole from the first song we record? God damn. I mean... Two and a half million. Well, they're going to buy a oh, verse from Jay-Z. Yeah. They're going to buy a beat from Timberland. And they're going to buy a video so from Hype Williams. Like swap, swap. What nothing. You mean? It wasn't like, you know, our rappers swap it out. Yo, I'll, give you, I'll do a verse on your project. You do a verse on my project. I got paid to be on Big Ten. Mm. We didn't have that relationship. And to be honest, I don't think Pimp would have accepted a Jay-Z verse. Of, to be of equal value to him. Mm. So let's just break this bread and be done with it. Right. And to be honest, Pimp and Jay didn't really have a relationship in that sense. There was a lot of, a lot of mutual respect, but Hov and I were always closer. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting a feature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, nah, it, was, it was really just about, like, we worked very hard to get where we are, we, and we're successful now for being purely who we have always said we were, riding dirty most critically acclaimed album we ever released. Mm. Gold album, not one music video. You know what I'm saying? And to get to that point and to possibly, in his mind, throw it all away, because this dude want to pay you some money to do a verse on a beat that you would never rap to, you know what I'm saying? It just seemed like a lot. And it took a lot to kind of bring him back around to the idea of being a part of it, to the point where I just was like reverse psychology. Like, fuck it, don't do it then, fuck it. Was her like, don't even worry about it. Fuck it. We ain't gonna do it. That's I'm just telling me we ain't gonna do it. You don't wanna do it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm old. All right, Pee Wee. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it, man. That's my, most people don't ask, that was my nickname with Pimp. Oh, wow. Was Pee Wee. It was, yeah. only, it was only two people in the world that called me Pee Wee. It's Pimp and my other homie Wee. Um, those are the only people that in the world that called me Pee Wee. Vaughn, was there ever a point where you and Pimp were just in a room, just y'all two, and he looked at you like, ah, right, yeah, I'm happy we did it? Every time. Yeah. That's one thing. There was no, there was full deferment, right? Pimp would produce the beat. We decide on what it was going to be. He write him, I write me. We'd no, I mean the, the big pimp. Was there a point where he's like, all right, yeah, I'm happy we did that song specifically? No, not in that sense. I mean, he was glad it worked out, but big pimp was was not like in his top 10 UGK mm. songs. Like He didn't even want to do another one. Mm. No, I didn't. Tell. You it never even got to, I'll be honest, that conversation <laughs> never even got to Pimp. Oh, mm. damn. I, I rejected it on the notion, on the principle of, of the idea that the only reason you would be willing to make that type of financial investment in, in me would be if I brought these people along. Mm. Mm. I helped make that record mm. what it is, too. Mm -hmm. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. So I ain't just show up like a car and park. Nigga, I'm active in this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was pretty pretty nice verse on that song. I feel yeah, like I, nigga, it's still, oh, yeah. you know it's what I'm saying. I feel like yeah. coming straight about the black bar. You know, yeah. I, I love I love a stain. <laughs> I love a stain. So step back, keep my scenario. My bad, that's my, my scenario. scenario. But it was it was I really like scary, huh? it was a, it was the best of everything that hip hop represented. Yo, for for us right. in New York, let me just speak for everybody in New York. We loved that record. Word. To this day, no, there's nothing New Word. York about it. First no, of all, I was never used loved. to hear somebody from the South speak so clear. Like the way you deliver and the way you enunciate every word, it's yeah. like, yo, it's, it's a punch. Boom, boom, every time. Yeah. So when I first heard it, I'm like, I was like, yo, who is it from the nice. from Houston? This, this, <laughs> see, they, this, was a, this was supposed to be a party record. And it right. is right. a party record. It's one of the biggest party records ever made. But I'm not giving a fuck about the party. I don't give a fuck about it. And that's what I'm we finna, love. I'm finna yeah. rap against Jay. Yeah. These motherfuckers know we can't roll with them. I can't even rap. We're going to pull it out over a little shit. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're all, I'm, 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 I'm coming in. I'm aggressive. Be a little bit. I'm right. aggressive. And I don't know. I, I don't think he expected. He knew I was, I was nice, but I don't think he expected me to come with that. This was supposed to be just about 
girls and that type mm -hmm. of shit. Right. And it is. In essence, that is that's what it is. is. And it was a long But I'm going to talk about this shit a too. little bit different right. yeah. <laughs> than the average girl strip club shake your ass type of record. I'm I'm finished. I'm on a record with Jay-Z. People mm -hmm. that that whole rap at a high quality are going to hear this record. Right. Mm -hmm. This how they need to hear me rapping with Jay-Z. Now, if he do something different, that's on him. Right. He got a, a million examples of how nice he is mm -hmm. to the people that listen to but him. Still, I need the people that listen to him to know I'm nice. He right. still felt compelled to add a fourth verse. That's not that's what, what that is. That's not what a short version that's, and a long version. That's not what that is. That's what publishing. That's publishing. That's ownership. We owned more of the record because I did the hook and we had two verses. Him adding the other verse evens it out. Mm. Holy shit. Wow. Go read the book, you illiterate son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 hey, <yeah. laughs> the fuck, man? <laughs> Feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my solid treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the product. That's how a nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass. It's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock. Don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks. They just shot up.